Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to take your interface and uh, match it up with Pro Tools, Empowered to be specific. Alright, so when I first started using Pro Tools, I didn't know very much about it, and I was just getting used to it, obviously, and um, one of the first things I did was figure out how to... Um, how to make, well, how to set your interface up with uh, Pro Tools manually if it doesn't already do it automatically, which mine didn't really. So let's just open up a blank session here. Let's call it test. All right, so you have your tracker screen, whatever, and your mixer screen, which is full of nothing. So let's just make a couple new tracks. Um, let's see here. Yeah, let's just make, let's say, four audio tracks, mono. That's cool. All right, so back to your mixer. And um, as you can see right now, my interface says it has my two my two inputs. So this one, which is the one my mic's going through right now, uh, right there. And um, then my second input from my profile, and then I have my SPDIF inputs. All right, so what you want to do is you want to go to set up I got two monitors running here it's not working out so well <laughs> and you go to your uh, IO options which is your interface well your ins and outs and uh, right here you can see the inputs that I've already shown you so you have it's one and two for stereo if you want stereo or, and it's got the two for mono if you rather just do some separate mono now what you can do is you well, what I do is usually is I just make eight new paths, then move them up, Whoop. move the eight new paths up, which is by pressing the new path button, there's your spit up one. And what you can do is you can make subgroups in those paths, which is just like this one up here. That's all it is. It's a path with two subgroups that are both mono, and then the main path is stereo. Makes sense, right? So you can name the paths whatever you want, but yeah, name them whatever you want. You can make a mono or stereo here. Um, so just do mono and choose the third input. Click OK. You you just you do that for the whole thing. Oh, whoops. All right, so pretty much you just make these mono or stereo depending on what you have on your interface, of course. And if you want to make a stereo, it's the same thing. It's very simple. You just go whoop. Just go here, and well, you go into one of your paths and you click new sub path. Yeah, and then there's your second one. You make it mono. You make this one stereo. Blah blah blah. But that's a different story. So, and then for each of these, you just choose what input you want it. So, well, I mean that's number one. So it's going to be number one. Whoop. Number two. Number two. Number three. Number three. Number four. Number four. And so on. That's pretty much all you have to do. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Finish assigning these. And then, ta-da. It's, it's kind of tricky when you first start this and you don't know, and you're like, yo, what's up? Where's my eight inputs? Ta-da, there they are. So, yeah, look, it, it works. So, there we go. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will try and be more helpful um, in the future. Uh, just tell me what you guys would like to learn about certain programs i have record pro tools logic anything that you guys need help with audio wise um and yeah just uh hit me up on youtube i guess all right guys thanks for watching